October 19, 2014, Comet Siding Spring, also designated C-2013A1, will have a close encounter with the planet Mars. Early estimations of the path of Comet Siding Spring seem to indicate there might be a slight possibility that the comet would collide with Mars. The current orbital estimation indicates that the comet has about a 1 in 120,000 chance of impacting the red planet. Comet Siding Spring is thought to have originated in the Oort Cloud, a vast region of debris left over from the formation of our solar system. Before we get into a more in-depth look at Comet Siding Spring, let's take a moment to look at the structure of our solar system and the origin of comets. Our solar system began forming about 4.6 billion years ago as the result of the gravitational collapse of a fragment of a large molecular cloud, nebula. This collapse may have been stimulated by a shock wave generated by the supernova explosion of a nearby star. An example of a large nebula visible today would be the Orion Nebula in the constellation Orion. The Orion Nebula is one of the closest regions of star formation, lying about 1,500 light years from Earth. The Orion Nebula is about 24 light years in diameter. Our own Sun and Solar System probably formed in a nebula similar to the Orion Nebula. As the gases and materials of our fragment of the nebula begin to collapse, they begin to rotate. This rotation accelerated as the gravitational forces pulled matter inward to the center of the spinning mass. As the collapse continued, condensing hydrogen gas at the core of the rotating mass began to heat up forming a protostar. Eventually, the pressures and temperature at the heart of the protostar became so intense that the hydrogen gas began to undergo hydrogen fusion, releasing enormous amounts of energy, thus marking the birth of our sun as a star. The remainder of materials in the protoplanetary disk began to form into the eight major planets, as well as minor planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. Collisions between the bodies and materials of the early solar system were numerous. It is thought that the watery nature of our own planet Earth may be due to the bombardment of icy comets over the eons, which led to the formation of our oceans and eventually life itself. As the solar system matured, collisions became fewer, but they still occur as demonstrated by the Chelyabinsk meteor of early 2013, sun-diving comets, or the collision of comets Shoemaker-Levy 9 with Jupiter in 1994. The gravitational influences of the Sun and larger planets such as Jupiter and Saturn eventually absorbed or flung some of the matter of the early solar system into regions far beyond the orbit of the planet Neptune. These outer regions of the solar system include the Kuiper Belt, the Scattered Disk, and the Oort Cloud. If we look at this schematic of our solar system, we can see the theorized structures of the Kuiper Belt, the Scattered Disk, and the Oort Cloud. The Oort cloud itself is a vast region surrounding the solar system that stretches as far as 50,000 or more astronomical units from the Sun, which is equivalent to about 0.8 light years. Loosely bound portions of the Oort cloud may lie over a light year out from the Sun. The Oort cloud is hypothesized to contain as many as several trillion bodies larger than one kilometer in diameter. It is from this vast reservoir of primordial material that Oort cloud comets such as Siding Spring, Ison, and Hale Bopp are thought to have originated. The inward journey of these comets may have been stimulated by the gravitational disruption of a passing star or some other large body eons ago. Comet Siding Spring's journey toward the inner solar system may have been set in motion many thousands of years in the past. On October 19, 2014, that journey will culminate in a close encounter with Mars. As Comet Siding Spring makes its close encounter with Mars, Earthlings will have an opportunity to observe this primordial visitor via our robotic researchers on the surface of and orbiting the red planet. Some of the prime robotic missions that will be able to observe Comet Siding Spring are from Orbit, MAVEN, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, and the 2001 Mars Odyssey. On the surface of Mars, the Curiosity rover at Gale Crater 
and the Opportunity rover on the Meridiani Planum may be able to make significant observations of Comet Sighting Spring. The comet was discovered on January 3, 2013 by Robert H. McNaught of the Sighting Spring Observatory while the comet was still about 7.2 astronomical units from the Sun. The Sighting Spring Observatory is located in New South Wales, Australia. The size of the comet has been estimated across a range of 1 kilometer to 50 kilometers or about a half a mile to 31 miles in diameter. As the comet comes closer, astronomers will be able to refine the comet's size with a greater degree of precision. Let's take a moment to look at the path of Comet Sighting Spring relative to the orbit of Mars. In looking at the path of Comet Sighting Spring, one important point of orientation is the inclination of the comet's path in relation to the ecliptic. The ecliptic is essentially the plane which contains the orbit of our own planet Earth around the Sun. This graphic gives us a visualization of the ecliptic or the ecliptic plane. The orbits of the eight major planets lie very close to the ecliptic plane with the planet Mercury showing the greatest inclination at about seven degrees to the ecliptic. The minor planets Pluto and Orcus show significant inclination to the ecliptic at 17 degrees and 20.5 degrees respectively. Taking a closer look at the inclination of the orbit of Comet Sighting Spring to the ecliptic plane, we can see that the comet has an inclination of 129 degrees. The comet will be traveling under the ecliptic plane for most of 2014. On October 19, 2014, the comet will cross north of the ecliptic plane as it passes just ahead of Mars as Mars is moving along in its orbit around the Sun. Comet Sighting Spring is estimated to pass in front of Mars at a distance of roughly 79,000 miles or 127,000 kilometers. The comet will be traveling at a relative speed of 56 kilometers per second or 35 miles per second. Mars is moving along its orbit at approximately 54,000 miles per hour while Comet Sighting Spring is moving along its path at approximately 126,000 miles per hour. At the time of Comet Sighting Spring's close approach to Mars, Earth will be approximately 151 million miles from Mars. As the visual magnitude of the comet is estimated to be around 10, it will be too faint to be observed by the naked human eye from Earth. Telescopic views and observations by robotic missions at Mars will be our best bets for viewing Comet Sighting Spring's close encounter with Mars. In all likelihood, the close encounter between the comet and Mars will not amount to much, but it will be interesting to see what happens. Comet Sighting Spring will be a big topic in astronomical news as we approach October of 2014. October 19, 2014 will be a very interesting day as Comet Sighting Spring and Mars have a close encounter of the astronomical kind.